is one of... <laughs> I have no idea what she's going to ask me. This is why I look worried. <laughs> I have no idea. She didn't prep me at all. She just turned on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> freak me out. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm ready now. Ask me the question. So, Britton, when it comes, <laughs> he's making a face. <laughs> when it comes to custom embellishments, and it comes to one of the most popular things in custom jewelry right now, what would you say that is? That would be bottle caps. Bottle caps. See, I got it right. She got it right. It wasn't that scary. She makes a big is that deal. Double jeopardy. Do I get? How much did I get for that answer? No, I didn't phrase <laughs> didn't it right. Phrase. I know. Okay. What are bottle caps? <laughs> oh. So anyway, this is Megan Elizabeth and Britton Lynn from AboveRubyStudio.com, and we are giddy and goofy because it's getting later and later. It's getting later in the series, and it's getting later at night. Yes. And we're having a good time. We are. Um, we made some really cool bottle cap jewelry to share with you guys, and this is a really great way to take your photographs and memories that are important to you and put them to not only great use um, on wearable art, or baggage tags, or keychains, or all those other things. You can also use these on scrapbook layouts. And this kit that we did comes with two really cool types of bottle caps. I'm really excited about. I think they're yes, different. I like these. Um, they're fl already pre-flattened for you, but they also have a jump ring. There's a hole and a jump ring already in them, so you don't have to mess with anything to make this into something fabulous. And we're going to show you cutting out some basic family photos, photos of your kids. I used a picture of Benson for mine. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to show you using some other really cool things on our colored white bottle caps. So I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial and we hope to see you again really soon at AboveRubyStudio.com. Bye. Okay, so for this tutorial I want to show you guys the two different kinds of bottle caps that we're going to be making. Now I already pre-assembled this one because this one takes a little bit of dry time and a little bit of mushing and you need to really wait for a good firm dry but this is something that's a little different gluing two bottle caps back to back and using the bale in the center. So what I did for this you're just going to take your two bottle caps. I mean this is really kind of basic and simple. You're using your E6000, but like I said, it took a little while to dry, so I did it ahead of time and I wanted to make sure it really worked. I took my E6000 and I went all the way around the outer ring and of the one side, my bottle cap, really easy. Then I smushed in the little bail and the other bottle cap, you kind of got to, you kind of, and it does take a little bit of coordination. Or or a, lot of a lot of coordination <laughs> or in, in, in Megan's case. So if you leave it on the table maybe, yeah, and you just smush it once the glue is on there, it does sort of fit right inside the little, what are these called, Britain? The little like creases, I the guess? The creases in the bottle cap. Yeah, yeah, the creases in the bottle cap. And it does kind of like hold into place. So once that adhesive is on there, it's not actually going to slip that much when the adhesive there, it, it grabs. And it's there, and then you can just create this really cool little back-to-back -back bottle cap, which I thought was kind of a clever way of doing it, yes. instead of trying to, you know, glue the bale to, you know, a lot of times you'd end up just gluing the bale to the back end, but we have pretty white bottle caps, so instead of doing that, you can do it this way. All right, so what I'm going to do for this is really probably too simple and basic, but it's so cute and I couldn't resist. I'm grabbing this BU uh, rub-on pack again and this looked so cute. I, I just can't resist it and Britton agreed with me and said, no, you have to show them because I, she, Britton said she has not seen rub-ons on bottle caps before. Is that true? That's true. So we're going to just cut this out and you could punch it out to be, it's a one inch circle, but I'm going to just chop at it here with my scissors. I know it's already going to be bigger than my bottle cap is, so I'm just going to kind of position him on here like a soul. And again, you can use your rub on tool, and rub on tool meaning a uh, popsicle stick. <laughs> I, I actually do have, have you ever seen it? The, the basic gray rub on tool? Like I have the I real rub on tool? I, ha I, have, I love it. I have a couple would be considered rub on tools. I, I don't know which ones I have. I have the basic gray one. It's actually, it's right here. So it has a little oh. uh, burnishing end and it also has the ball point and it actually rolls. Mm -hmm. So it really helps your rub-ons release, especially for those more like inexpensive rub-ons that, you know, you really yell at and fight with. But these, I, there, there's something about these, I mean, it's like releasing off of here and I'm not even pressing down, which is 
phenomenal how it just releases off and you just peel it back it's not ripping I'm going to press it down on the outside of my bottle cap it's cute yeah and I'm going to I'm just using my fingernail to kind of peel away the excess like the excess overhang it really works that easy and I don't even think I need to seal this on the bottle cap with it being metal like this I don't think there's any need to have to go back in and seal over top of this what do you think Britton I don't think you have to. Uh, it, you would like. You I would, would. I would. I would put a coat of Mod Podge over because it it's not going to take away from the design. That's true. That's and true. It might prevent if so if it would ever lift or anything. Yeah, it does keep it like right there. So we'll, okay. So just to be safe and sorry, you're going to use the 3D gloss. Oh yeah, I'm using the glassy gloss. Glassy gloss. Galaxy gloss. Yeah. <laughs> 3D galaxy gloss. We'll get the words out eventually. The cool thing, I, I said this, I probably said this a couple times throughout the series, um, is that it really, it doesn't dry flat. It does dry three-dimensional. Like, it doesn't dome like a, like a resin or whatever, but it just, it dries with a little bit of a dimension to it. It's, it's the coolest stuff. Such an enabler. That looks awesome. I mean, yeah. that's just so cute. I can see so many people wearing that. I know, that is really cute. So, we're going to just set this aside here, let that let that little guy dry. And then the other thing that I'm going to do, I'm taking, this is, these are much easier to work with, and I'm very excited about having these sourced in, in this kit. They're already pre-flattened bottle caps, and they have little jump rings already on them with the hole in place, so you don't have to punch. If you were going to punch, like if you wanted to punch into one of the white, um, you could. You can use a crocodile, yes, and they true. punch super easy through bottle caps. And you know, you could place then your your ring in whatever you want. But I just used a circle punch, a one inch circle punch fits perfectly in the center of a bottle cap of my son Benson. And I think this is so fun to take kid pictures. It's a great grandma gift. It's a great teacher gift. You can do a, a million different things with it. But a personal photo, not just our favorite scrapbook paper, is so neat. And you could use it for. Um, luggage tags, you can use them for keychains, doesn't just have to be something you wear on your neck, because I know there are certain people out there, I've heard, I wouldn't mind wearing Benson around my neck, but I know some moms are kind of like, oh, I don't want to wear my kids on me that way, they're on right. me all day long, you know, you don't want to wear them, so, but you can do a lot of other things with them, and then it's a great little brag piece. So you can use Mod Podge for this, or you can use, um, the like, again, you could use the 3D Galaxy Gloss either way. We're going to use a little bit of Mod Podge for this one. I like Mod Podge for photos. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what the difference is for me. I can't explain it. It's just kind of what you get used to, I guess, maybe. Is that? It's, it's a nice, smooth glue. Yeah. And I like that you can brush it on. Yeah, you can brush that on, too. It's, just, it's different. I don't know. It's different. Well, you don't need the dimension underneath the... Underneath. That's underneath true. Underneath the picture. So I'm just going to hold that down. And maybe we should just use that. What, are you going to put it over top? Yeah, we'll use both. I'm going to use both. We use Mod Podge, we use Galaxy Gloss. Why not? For over top of it. Sure, why it not? It gives a little bit of a little bit of something, something. But really, photos are so the way to go. I know it seems so simple, and but it's something that it gets overlooked often. And I don't like when it gets overlooked. Because that's what we're all about. We're about memories. We're about... Our lives, our families, and what better way to share those things than with a photo and wearing it and putting it on our everyday lives. It's just awesome. Okay. 3D Galaxy. And then I just tap this out. So I just hold it up and then tap the bottom, and that gets out kind of the air bubbles, and it also will level out the gloss a little bit more too and then you're just going to set that aside to dry and then I have this adorable little picture of Benson That's but really you really cute. can do so much with this so again remember the rub-ons your favorite scrapbook paper inside outside there are no limitations to this whatsoever you could take again one of your little cabochons if you didn't use both of them to make a set of earrings like Britain did in the other lesson you only used one on a ring you could place this in, okay, so here's the other extra one. You could place this in the center of one and put your favorite paper around it. And, you know, I mean, there's just unlimited possibilities for that kind of dimension and that kind of, you know, 
beautiful little piece of jewelry kind of thing. So just stick that in the center with something else in there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Please post your pictures at uh, facebook.com slash follow above rubies or slash uh, facebook.com slash Britton Lynn. And we will be commenting and seeing what you guys have posted and have to share with us. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.